Hello guys, welcome back to the Eastern Romans blog. Last time my goal was to finish a test model and uh, mission accomplished here. Took a while after doing that video, I actually started painting the horses for some reason. Got really pumped to uh, airbrush some horses. Ended up doing the skin on a few and then I was gonna paint in some of the other colors and I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't really decided on the actual colors for my, my troops yet. I mean, I had an idea, but it wasn't hammered out. So I'm like, well, okay, maybe I'll go back to that test model that I was talking about. So this one right here is actually the second one. So that's why you do a test model before going whole hog on anything. So the original guy, he was, you know, I've been talking about these white colors and kind of doing some more early style Byzantines and just didn't really like how that was was shaping out. Um, I was getting a real high elf vibe from those guys and I remember a couple of years ago I was trying to paint some uh, classic auto production metal high elf models and I just wasn't feeling it and some do the whites I didn't feel like I was gonna get a really nice depth on the whites with the airbrush um, yeah, I think maybe that's something a little more advanced or I wasn't quite getting the hang of it. And then the other thing was these little big men shield transfers that I picked up were so explosive and colorful and I wanted to incorporate more of those colors and then I'd also have white. So I, you know, the Byzantines are about a lot of crazy colors, but um, it really wasn't com coming together for me. So I kind of went back. I took a picks at uh, Byzantines Online, some more artwork and stuff like that. So I decided I want to do some more color on these guys. Uh, the primary colors kind of going again after the shields with the bright blues, the reds, and the yellows. Kind of just hammering <laughs> those primary colors. So uh, yeah, this is what I came up with after taking a look at everything. They're kind of based off um, these Byzantines I saw on a blog. I think it's called Land land of the lead and he painted them up for some other historical game but i really liked um, using red as the primary color so that's kind of what what i'm going forward with these guys on and i really liked how it turned out so as far as the techniques and stuff i airbrushed the red on these guys and then i went in and blocked everything off with a single color and then I did a, a dark brown, actually a dip. Um, so I usually thin my dips down with some polyurethane or something like that to uh, get it not so heavy and uh, turned out pretty good on this guy. And then I went back and kind of did a single sort of an edge highlight on everything except for the face. The face um, was a little bit more work with the eyeballs, painting those in, but then that's pretty much it. So. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Some of the things I like are the speed, the simplicity. It's a bright color scheme and it's clean. And I'm, I'm liking that. A couple of things I can think of for improvement. Um, I do would I would like to push the contrast a little bit more on the red, the airbrush color. So um, probably on the, the next couple ones, I'll try to push it and get a little bit more from dark to light across that midsection there. And then I think I may have thinned my dip too much. And the, uh, you know, it's just kind of, it's really, it's really not light. I, I think I'd like a little more contrast. So a little more contrast in the, the dip, the wash, I guess, and then uh, just contrast in the airbrush would help these guys pop a little bit more. And I think that, that would suffice, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with this little fella here. And as far as the basing goes, just to touch on that, I did kind of do more like a deserty scrub, scrub type basing. So um, yeah, these guys turned out pretty cool. Hopefully you can uh, get a look, good look at it in the pick, and then uh, let me know, let me know your thoughts if you have any ideas. It's not too late for me to change course if you have any tips or feedback, but. Overall, I'm pretty pumped. I think at this point, I am going to paint up a shitload of these guys. Uh, I got big piles of them. So I'm gonna test out this airbrush and push it to its fullest extent and get the best bang for the buck out of it. So I've never painted uh, miniatures really with an airbrush before. I've used it a lot on terrain in the last couple of years, but I haven't really used it on these figures here. So um, it's gonna be a good, learning curve hopefully 
I'll be able to bang through these relatively quickly. Looking forward to that. Um, so the next one will hopefully be a video showcasing a bunch of uh, painted infantry. Maybe maybe just archers. We'll see how it goes. But um, this has been dragging out long enough, so I really kind of want to get these banged out here. And hopefully with the airbrush and the dip and everything else I'm doing, I will be able to do that. So awesome. Thanks for watching, subscribing, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys next time with the Eastern Romans. Thanks for watching.